Hello everyone, in this lecture today we will solve some conceptual problems in the chapter called Molecular Basis of Inheritance. Okay, so uh, this is the chapter. The chapter is Molecular Basis of Inheritance. So what is the question we have? If the double-stranded DNA molecule has 30% cytosine, calculate the percent of adenine. So to solve this problem, so how are we going to solve this problem? So to solve this problem, we have to apply Chargaps rule. And so what is Chargaps rule? Chargaps rule, it states that DNA from any species of organism should have 1 is to 1 stoichiometric ratio of purine, this is purine, and primidine bases. Okay, more specifically, the amount of guanine, okay, the amount of guanine should be equal to amount of cytosine, and the amount of adenine should be equal to amount of thymine. So this is the uh, Chargaff rule. So what has been given, guys? We have been given the 30% cytosine. So basically, according to the Chargaff's rule, so 30% uh, cytosine. So for cytosine, we can write C. Okay, cytosine. Yep, cytosine is actually C. So we have 30% cytosine, which means that the amount of guanine should be equal to amount of cytosine. That means we have 30% of guanine. Okay, so 30% of guanine because the amount of cytosine should be equal to amount of guanine, right? So, so then uh, what is the total amount? Total amount of, okay, what is actually C plus G, then cytosine plus guanine in total, that will be equal to 30% plus 30%, which is actually 60%, okay? The 60% is uh, C plus G, yeah? So how, okay, the according to chart capsule, cytosine amount is equal to guanine amount. That's why we wrote this, okay? So now we have C plus G amount, right? 60%. But what we have to find out, we have to find out the percent of adenine, okay. So, okay, so what then, what will be the amount? Because the DNA molecule is made up of four bases, right? Adenine, guanine, cytosine, cytosine, and thymine, okay. When we have these two amounts, right, the, the amount of these two, and so what will be the amount of A plus T? So basically amount of A plus T, A plus T, will be equal to 100%, yeah, because any DNA molecule is 100%, minus, minus 60%, okay, minus 60%. Okay, so A plus T, because we already know G plus C amount, so then from G plus C amount, we can calculate A plus T amount. So A plus T amount is 100% minus 60%, so which is actually 40%, yeah, A plus T we got is 40%, yep. Let's say that, okay, so A plus T, T is 40%. Let's call it equation A or equation A, small a, let's say, equation A. So uh, what is the Chargaff's rule? According to the Chargaff's rule, so according to Chargaff's rule, yeah, according to uh, Chargaff's, okay, according to Chargaff's rule, uh, so according to the Chargaff's rule, uh, what is what it says is that the amount of adenine should be equal to amount of thymine. That means, according to Chargaff rules, A will be equal to T, yeah? Let's call it equation B. So when, when we put the value of A in equation, or equation equation A, when, when we put the value of A from equation B in equation A, so what we'll have, we will have, let's say, we can write, because we have to find out A in, we can simply write for T. So basically A plus, in place of T, we can write A from equation B. Yeah, so it's A, which is actually 40%. So that means 2A is equals to 40%, which is actually A is equals to 40% uh, divided by 2, which is actually 20%, yeah? So amount of adenine is actually 20%. So hence, the amount of cytothymine uh, T is also 20%. So according to the Chargaff rule. So it's very simple, yeah? So, I mean, in uh, this kind of problem, in, in the competitive examination, the percentage of any one nitrogen basis will be given, and then we have to find out the percent of uh, other nitrogen bases. Yeah, it's very simple. So, uh, we have to apply the Chargaff's rule, okay? So now, moving to the next problem. The next problem is that uh, the segment of a DNA that includes the coding strand of a gene is present below. The transcription uh, begins at and proceeds to the right. This is the uh, the coding strand sequence. For what we have to do, we have to write down the sequence of the RNA 
and we also have to write down the sequence of the template strand of the DNA yeah and level 5 prime and 3 prime ends so to solve this problem guys so before I solve this problem I want to give you the concept of what is a template strand and what is a a coding strand in a DNA molecule okay let's let's say that this is the schematic structure of a DNA molecule yes and this is from 5 prime end to the 3 prime end and this is from 3 prime end to the 5 prime end because in a DNA molecule two strands are complementary to each other yeah so this 5 prime to 3 prime strand this is actually called coding strand okay so this is coding strand okay so this 5 prime to 3 prime strand is coding strand whereas this 3 prime to 5 prime strand this is called template strand okay T E M P L template strand okay so we know what is coding strand and what is template strand so now we will try to uh, solve this problem so we have been given the coding strand yeah so we have to find out the template strand so what is coding strand we will just write it so coding strand is G A uh, T uh, and then C G G A T C and A and C T G T yeah so this is a 5 prime side and this is a 3 prime side okay so to write the template strand right wherever we have G we can write okay A and uh, not a uh, sorry not a C sorry it's my bad so wh wh wherever we we have Z we can write C and wherever we see A or T we can write basically this is both way yeah we can write uh, T let's see and uh, the this is a coding strand and the template strand will be so in place of G we can write C right so write C in place of A we can write T okay we'll write T in place of T yeah we have T so we will write A because it's complementary so it's A and in place of C okay we have C then we can write G Z in place of A okay in place of A we can write T okay and in place of so in in place of uh, C okay so in place of C what we can write so in place of C uh, we can write G in place of T we can write A in place of G we can write C and in place of T we can write A yeah so this uh, this will be template strand will be from 3 prime to 5 prime ends okay this is important guys okay so this is our template strand okay template strand yep this is our template strand okay so we wrote a template strand this is sample strand so we solve actually pr problem this this part of the problem problem number two okay we solve this problem already so then we have to solve this problem write out the sequence of RNA okay so then what would be the sequence of RNA okay sequence of RNA okay to get the sequence of RNA what we have to do is that in a coding strand okay in a coding strand in a coding strand in a coding strand what we have to do we have to replace thiamine uh, with uracil okay so this is the rule because in RNA there is a presence of uracil so basically RNA has adenine guanine cytosine and uracil in place of thiamine whereas DNA okay whereas DNA has adenine guanine cytosine and thiamine yep so we will simply replace thiamine with uracil in, a, in, the, in, the, in the coding strand sequence then we will get the sequence of RNA okay so let's do it then so let's uh, write first this coding strand sequence so coding strand sequence is G A T uh, and then C G A T C and A C uh, T G T yeah this is from 5 prime to the 3 prime and so coding okay we will write now the RNA sequence so RNA sequence will be with G will be like Z and A in place of thiamine we will write uracil okay we just need to mark where we have thiamines and there we just need to put uracil C and A and C and uracil and G and uracil so this will be from okay so this is our 
RNA strand. Okay, so this is our RNA strand it's from five prime to three prime end. Okay, so uh, this is our RNA strand, and this will be from five prime to the three prime end. Okay, because this RNA strand is actually synthesized from this template strand. Yeah, this template strand. So that's why we have five prime to three prime direction. Okay, so it's very simple. So uh, to get a RNA sequence, okay, from the coding in the coding strand, we just need to replace T with U, and this will be in five prime to three prime direction. Whereas for the uh, whereas for uh, the template strand sequence, we just need to um, follow this rule here. Yeah. Thank you very much for your kind attention.